Hey folks, I'm Dieter Melhorn. In this video, my family and I are heading down to the Carolina coast to celebrate Thanksgiving and do a little saltwater fishing. Folks, thanks for taking the time to watch this video. If you like the channel, please consider hitting that little subscribe button down there so you can stay up to date on all the new videos we have coming out. Well, for the past several years, my family and I have been heading down to the Carolina coast to celebrate Thanksgiving. We've got a camper in the Merle's Inlet area, so it gives us a good time to get away, enjoy some family time, and take in some of the sights and sounds of the Grand Strand. Well, after eating some great low country food, I got a chance to sneak away and head down to Merle's Inlet to try to put a hook in some speckled trout. There were two techniques I was using. One was putting live bait under a slip cork, and the other was fishing with artificials. Now, catching fish on artificial lures is not something I'm skilled at, but I had heard and read that, especially during a slack tide, uh, it's a good way to incite a bite out of some fish that may be reluctant to bite. Probably should be netting these things. Just put on a little artificial shrimp. Kind of floats. Popping it down through here. Got one little sweet spot where I seem to get hit every time. Put three in the boat or three to the boat. I'm not really. These are undersized trout. Boom. Oh, I missed him. I seen him. Actually, seen him come up and hit it. He hits it again. Maybe the one goes moving fast. There's a bad cast. Let's try that again. Bam, got ah. Uh, short striking. Seem to like it right after that fall. <clears throat> this one better stay buttoned. Bam. Got him. Come out of there. Come out of there, sucker. Yes, pretty fish. You can see him. Pretty fish, back alive. Now the live shrimp underneath the slip bobber was pretty easy for me to figure out and wrap my head around. I had a good buddy of mine, Inglis Glover, show me how to use this technique last year and what to look for and how to vary things around to figure out where the fish were. Lovely. <sighs> Blue fish. A fish is better than no fish. A fish is better than no fish. All right, floating another live shrimp down through here. Got us another trout. Another trout. Barely got to keep him too. Pretty fish. I don't think he's gonna make the cut either. Nope. 13 all day long. Pretty fish. Number seven, look at him. They got tea feet, you can't lip them unless you're really brave. They look like I'm back alive. My bait du jour. I was trying to eat a sandwich. 
I missed the first one. Y'all didn't see that on camera. It's almost like there's a school of them up in here. It's kind of moving around. in there is where I got popped last time. Uh, got it that time. Got him. Another undersized one. Good little fish. That man. Yep, another 13. Good looking little fish. Back alive. Boom. Some little bitty scrimps. Need some bigger scrimp. Right through there. I'm gonna bubba. Alright, I'm going to try not to eat any sandwich this time. Of course, probably, if I would keep eating, I'd catch fish. It ain't been taking long for these things to get popped, though. There you go, boom. Boom. One day I'll get a big one. But for now, we're catching 13 inch trout all day long. Boom. <sighs> Fish, pretty fish. Rawr. Floating some live ones. Another one. Pretty fish. Right at 13 inches. Hello, world. Good trout. Floating some live ones. Another trout. A beautiful specimen. If you don't do well for pictures. There he is. Little one. Another one. 
another trout. I'll try it there. You just do it with a pair of pliers and make it easy. Yes, small one. Get on to me here. Stay down, fella. Stay down. Nice. Another view. Don't go down there. Don't get down there. Don't go in the bilge. Ugh. Oop. Suck of the butter. What a ranch under. Beautiful fish. Beautiful colors on them. Well, in the end, I didn't catch any monster fish, but I put a lot of fish in the boat. I think I had 19 trout that I caught, and a couple of drum, and I think even an undersized flounder and a bluefish. All in all, it was a pretty good day on the water.